Ooh. Good fire. Just makes you wanna. Oh. Hey guys, it's me here, and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 9! That's what's up! So, lately my videos have been sort of wandering into the negative, you know, talking about death and stuff. <coughs> Self promotion. <coughs> Links in the description. <coughs> But today I thought I would bring it back to Christmas and cheer and all that kind of stuff and talk about one of my favorite kinds of movies, Christmas movies. So in that spirit, here are in a very particular order, my top five Christmas movies. Number five, Die Hard. Now I know what some of you are gonna say. Um, Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie, you plebeian. Oh, what a plebeian. Wake up, sheeple. I don't know why I assumed you were British there, but Anyway, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and I can prove it. It takes place at Christmas. They say the word Christmas at least a few times. I'm pretty sure the ending piece of music is a Christmas song. And Alan Rickman says, Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Rest in peace, Ricky. All right, moving away from the controversial, we arrive at number four. Love Actually. Whoa. I just felt the audible sigh of annoyance. Look, I know a lot of you dudes and a lot of you ladies just don't like Love Actually, and I get it. It's a bit trite, and it doesn't make total sense all the time. But what a wonderful movie! There's so many lovely moments, and there's all these sweet messages within it, and it's just, it's a very pure, wholesome film. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep on slaying down to number three, The Santa Claus. Yes, yes, The Santa Claus. I guarantee that if you were born between the years of 1995 and 2000, you have seen the Christmas, the Christmas? You have seen The Santa Claus on TV at least once in your life. It's a Christmas classic for people of my generation. <laughs> it's a Christmas classic for people of my generation. I mean, it's, it's fun and heartfelt and it's got Tim Allen before he started doing weird sitcoms where he's got too many daughters and Sky High ripoffs. Oh! Now on to number four, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, there's that annoyance again. Look, I know, I know, this is that movie that your parents made you watch when you were a kid so you could learn a lesson about humility or Jesus or something. It's old and corny and has a lot of Jimmy Stewart face. But it's a classic. Classic. And plus, it doesn't really get any more Christmassy than this. I mean, it's a quaint story, and it's a Christmas story that actually teaches you to be happy with what you have, instead of spending hundreds of dollars on gifts that you don't need. Christmas crisis. Anyway, before I move on to number five, here are a few honorable mentions. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. There's too much Christmas. Lethal Weapon. Yep. And the Santa Claus too. I already made enough trouble putting the first one in there. I didn't want to. I didn't want to double up. And now, for the winner of the best Christmas movie of all time, as determined by some idiot on the internet. The best Christmas movie of all time is, wait for it, Elf. Yes, Elf, it's the best Christmas movie. It's got Will Ferrell at his best and Zoe Deschanel before she was famous. And it's got some of the best jokes that I've ever seen in a movie, not just a Christmas movie. It's just a generally great all around movie and I genuinely encourage you to go see it if you haven't seen it. Oh my God, go see it. Anyways, that's all I have for today. I'll leave links in the description for all the, uh, the things I talked about today. But uh, in any event, that's all I got, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe right there. Check out my last video, which I'll link right there. And check out one of my other videos, which I'll link right there. But uh, as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Christmas outro. Ching, ching, ching.